guys, this is Christy with crawfishclay.com and today I'm going to show you how to make some awesome slip right there. Okay. So what you can do is you take your same clay body. I like to use my throwing clay. Uh, this is my bucket that I use for throwing. And you can just sieve the water off the top or pour it off the top. And then you take that beautiful sludge at the bottom, put it in a bucket. If you want, you can let it sit for a couple more days and keep sieving the water off until it gets to the consistency you want. And you take a nice little immersion blender, sort of like this guy right here, and blend it, blend it, blend it, until you get it exactly like you want it. Nice, creamy, smoothy slip. All right, and then I like to take a little sieve. This is a talisman, size 60 mesh. And you're gonna take your brush and brush it around to sieve it through. You don't wanna use anything too hard to damage your screen with. And then what you're left with in the bottom here, these nasty little bits. And you put them in your slip trail bottle and they get stuck in there and you wish you had Prozac. So then you can take your slip and you can put them in a bottle. I like to use these guys, have a nice pouring spout. Or you can use a grape juice bottle, anything that won't let air inside and the moisture out so that uh, you keep your slip nice and moist. And you say, well, what can I do with slip? Well, besides, you know, using it like glue to bond your clay together. Here's a few examples. These are slip trail dots that I did. Uh, this is just a little test tile. You can use different colored slips underneath the, uh, the glaze, and sometimes it'll come through. Sometimes it gets covered up, depending on your glaze. But that's pretty cool. This is a slip trail bottle that I love to use. This one is a Falcon slip trail bottle. And you can use it to make these little progressive dots. I'll show you how that works. So you just squeeze it out. A little bit less and a little bit less every time so you get this cool little progression or you can make little shapes wherever you want another example right here and here you go here's some slip I put it on the wheel with a slip trail bottle and I used a, a brush to just kind of smooth it as the wheel was spinning around so I hope you've enjoyed make yourself some slip be happy.